Jackson Radio Show. What's up, everybody? It's old dumb Kevin Jackson. <laughs> Why do I say that? Because Jimmy Kimmel says you can't be a successful t- talk show host. I don't know whether he's talking TV, radio, whatever. Uh, if you're a conservative. <laughs> Oh my God! Can you believe this dude? Say, and he said, "Look, he didn't say it like in like he's doing an interview. Like you can't have a successful talk show." Huh? He said it at a forum in front of a bunch of other people. I don't know if Jimmy Kimmel's gotten a memo, but the most successful talk shows are conservative. I don't know what Jimmy makes, but I think Rush Limbaugh makes more. Sean Hannity makes more. Look. I, maybe I'm not in. I, I will put it this way. I feel like my show competes with any of the others. I may not have put a lot of effort into monetizing it. <laughs> Shame on me for that. But I'll, if Jimmy Kimmel wants to go toe to toe with KJ, let the bro, let him know. Let him know. We're happy to. I will bring Jimmy Kimmel on. I said this on TV the other day. I was on Fox talking about this very subject. I said, if I go on Jimmy Kimmel's show, he, it will end him. People will look at Jimmy Kimmel and go, you're number one, you're not funny, you're not clever, you're wrong on all the issues. That dude, I don't know who that dude was, but he sliced and diced. You can see I wouldn't be doing. And Kevin Jackson said about Jimmy Kimmel. And Kevin Jackson, Kevin Jackson, I would just say, well, Jimmy, let me just ask you this question, man. You're all crying. You're crying and holding up your baby boy, talking about this, that, and the other, man. You, are you on Obamacare? You're not on Obamacare. Why Why are you helping other people? You Do you have any idea of what Obamacare is going to do? Who has it actually helped? Hurt in your family. Give give me an example because you held up your own son. If I wasn't rich, I would, I would not have Obamacare. The the operative words there, Jimmy, were if you were not rich. You are rich. You're rich. And the funny thing, I when when I was looking at what Jimmy had said, I said, well, uh, he obviously must have just just this amazing education. <laughs> you know, Jimmy must be a graduate of of Harvard. Then he went on to get his his master's at Wharton and his PhD from Princeton, right? Couldn't find Jack on Jimmy Kimmel as far as education. Probably the high school C student who was the class clown, by the way, got his start from, uh, what's the guy? Newton Bueller, Bueller, that guy. I forget his name. Ben Stein. Thank you. Ben Stein got his start from a conservative Ben Stein used to represent himself as a conservative. I thought he was a conservative. And suddenly this guy's gone off the rails. Now, look, I'm not going to tell ABC what to do with Jimmy Kimmel. Apparently, somebody else already has. Because I think Jimmy, to get that job, was on the casting couch, and ABC called over Harvey and said, I got one for you, Harvey. Or Kevin Spacey, maybe. I got one for you, Kev. I'll be right over, right after I finish House of Cards. I don't know how this guy got hired. Clever in some ways. Funny guy in some ways. But is he the cleverest, funniest guy on the planet? The answer is no. Jimmy Kimmel doing stand-up. Did anybody know of Jimmy Kimmel when he was a stand-up? Not many. So he caught a break. Good for him. I don't begrudge him that. That's what, that's what conservatism is all about. Good for you, Jimmy Kimmel. But what is your issue with Donald Trump? What is his issue? Just a, It's a, amazing to me. Most of us, when, look, I don't watch late night TV because most of these guys are hacks. They are partisan, left-leaning hacks who live in a world where they know nothing about what's going on in the real world. Jimmy Kimmel is so distorted, he's paid mega millions of dollars to do a job that, quite frankly, is pretty easy to do. Well, So tell me about your next project. Yes, I'm making this film. Uh, is it hot? Are you hot in it? What do you do? Who's in it with you? You having fun? I mean, look, I'm not going to downplay it because I get it. I got friends in the industry. And people get up there and they go, Kevin, this is, this is so easy. It makes it, A lot of it is made to look easy because you're good at what you do. And I don't have a beef with Jimmy Kimmel per se. I think he does his job adequately. Is he the guy that's so riveting? You Like Johnny Carson, when I was a kid, I couldn't wait for evening time to watch Johnny Carson. If I got to stay up to watch Carson, man, it was a treat. And Carson taught me about humor. He taught me nuances of humor that Jimmy Kimmel couldn't even, man, don't even throw Johnny Carson's jockstrap his way because he couldn't carry the weight of it. I, I wanted to see Carson. 
And there were guys before him, Dick Cavett and others, that set the format that these guys now enjoy, and they weren't partisan hacks. They were equal opportunity comedians, and they were funny. Jimmy Kimmel and most of these guys on late night TV, Trevor Noah and Seth, what's his family? I don't even know their names, quite honestly, most of them. These guys, if it weren't for a laugh track, nobody would be laughing at their shtick. It's not funny. Because you, you know where it comes from. And like as I was saying a second ago, distorted beyond belief, man. It's amazing to me how distorted these clowns are. They watch Donald Trump be masterful as president. And because the crowd that they've cultivated, a bunch of uh, 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 clapping seals that, that you know laugh when they, when they see the light up, laugh. <laughs> That's the, the way they are. They, these, the people that these guys are catering to no longer will tolerate anything positive about Trump. So they play to it. You know what's ironic? I bet you there are many more Trump supporters in that audience. Talked about the lady in Hollywood cleaning Trump's star. Nobody bothered her. She was cleaning Trump's star. I bet there were people all around going, good for her, good for her. I think they had smashed it before, if I'm not mistaken. Jimmy Kimmel, this clown wouldn't dare have somebody on his show who wasn't promoting something because he would actually have to think. And I would tell Jimmy Kimmel, hey, stick to comedy, but there isn't any. There's so little comedy. I'm not kidding you guys. Look, it's not stand up, but it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a fun show. It's supposed to want to invite you to come. I'll ask most of the, the, I'll ask the audience. I'm not going to ask most of you. Do you feel invited to go see Jimmy Kimmel's show? I, I don't feel invited. Schumer, when's the last time you heard something from that fat girl? Oh, yeah, I said it because I want to fat shame her. When you heard something from her, people walked out of her show. You know what these people have to do now? They have to say, if my show offends you, if you don't like it, you get no refund. Because, first of all, why would you even go, right? Why would you go to see Amy Schumer? Why would you go to see Jimmy Kimmel? I wouldn't. You could tell me Jimmy Kimmel's giving away free tickets and I wouldn't go to see this clown. And like I said, I dare him to debate any conservative, any conservative of the age of nine on any issue that he chooses. He would be so embarrassed. There are my I'm going to tell you, I have friends with kids that would make this guy look like a, a clown that he is. He, I don't know if you guys know this. He built his career on a gag where he would say, oh, we ran out of time for Matt Damon. And that became sort of the running gag. Is he good at gags? Yes. You know, he, he's probably as good as Letterman with that. Do you take Letterman seriously? When did these guys start to take their opinions about politics seriously? It's the same thing I say to De Niro and Susan Sarandon and many of these other folks. You are actors and actresses. I don't give a crap what you think. What makes you think that your opinion's any better than ours? In fact, I will tell you, as I said earlier, Jimmy Kimmel can't fill a thimble. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, play on words. Uh, to, with what I know in politics versus what he knows. And he wants to call guys like me dumb. Bring it, Jimmy. Come on my show or br- invite me to yours. It works either way. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.